All of that is a backdrop to this. President Obama says a powerful rebuke to terrorism will be the Paris Climate Summit. Roll tape. And next week, I will be joining President Hollande and world leaders in Paris for the Global Climate Conference. What a powerful <coughs> rebuke to the terrorists it will be when the world stands as one and shows that we will not be deterred from building a better future for our children. All right, you heard him. Congressman Marsha Blackburn is with us, Republican Tennessee. Marsha, welcome to the program. Very good to have you with on this Thanksgiving week. Um, the president says that the, the climate change summit in Paris is a powerful rebuke to terrorism. What's your response? I think it is very sad that this is something that our president would say. The thing that is most frustrating to my constituents while I'm out and about this week is the fact that he's very timid about how to take ISIS on and how to define our enemy. It is radical extremist Islam. And he needs to be able to say that, define the em enemy, and then say, look, we're going to turn this climate summit into a summit of how to eradicate radical extremism from the face of this earth. We are going to protect people that are peace-loving people. But look, all of you terrorists, we're coming after you. We're going to destroy you and your networks. Masha, that's what you want to do. That's your yes. position. But can yes. you do it? Does Congress have any say in this at all? Well, we have passed the NDAA, which is the National Defense Authorization Act. We continue to work through the channels that we have, whether it is homeland security and dealing with the Syrian crisis or through our foreign relations, working well, to get aid and comfort in the area. And this is another thing, Stuart. The president could say, look, as we assemble all of these 140 world leaders, we're going to talk about the refugee crisis and looking at that region of the world where what countries can take these refugees and how do we support them as a global community how do we go in and support them in that effort we don't need to be bringing them here because guess what we well, still can't vet them we don't know who they are it is possible it, it, look president obama when he goes to paris he's going to commit american taxpayer money to go towards climate change mitigation in other countries. I'm told it'll be about $3 billion. That will be the initial request. Congress could say no. You could cut off well, the purse strings right there and stop this outflow of our money to other people about climate change. And we have done this before repeatedly. The House has voted to defund efforts that the EPA is carrying out, and we will vote to do away with what he's trying to do, reminding you the Copenhagen summit, the last one that they had, uh, that was in 2007, and a group of Republicans that went over there, remember it was that Select Committee on Global Warming? We went over and we were successful in making certain that there was not an agreement that came out of that. The president is focused on this. I think it is misplaced priorities. The biggest threat we have is national security, is dealing with radical Islamic extremists. He needs to use this opportunity. We will do our part to defund and to pull this back and to disallow what he is trying to do but Stuart it is I tell you what the focus needs to be on eradicating these terrorist networks whether it's al-Qaeda Boko True. Haram or ISIS I recommend Marsha that you look at the Washington Post this morning and read an editorial by um, Dana Milbank he calls yes. he's a Democrat right out there on the left he says look at that Barack Obama President Obama not a good response to yesterday's statement well, Marsha Blackburn he, everyone, I'm <laughs> yeah. out of time you know how it is <laughs> <Yeah>. Thanksgiving <laughs> week a lot of news happy Thanksgiving and to you too thanks very much Marsha